get lowest number like this. We will wait and that should give us the lowest number. Say function and look at that. Booyah, as you can see, done. That is crazy. Annyeonghaseyimnika. Nicolas Ignita and today we're going to talk about GitHub Copilot, the AI tool from GitHub that may or may not replace developers. GitHub Copilot is an AI powered suggestion tool for developers. What that means for you and me is that now instead of writing the code of a whole function, what we do instead is we write a comment of what the function should do and Copilot is going to generate the whole code for us. I got an invite to test Copilot and since I've tried it, I felt many different emotions. First, I was shocked about how good it is. Then I was scared because it might really replace developers. And then I got angry because of what they did with all the code that we gave them. And now I'm happy and I feel hopeful about the future. So I want to share all this with you. Before we jump in the demo, let me first give you some background information. Copilot is powered by an algorithm called OpenAI Codex. Codex is a descendant of OpenAI GPT-3. GPT-3 is a very famous algorithm that we made a video about last year, but what it basically does is that it creates text just as good as humans. It was fed all the text on the internet, literally as much text as possible, comments, reviews, blog posts, news. It was fed all that and it learned how to write text just like humans do. It's almost indiscernible when a human writes and when GPT writes. Again, we made a video about it, so check it out if you want to learn more. Now, Codex, which is this new algorithm, was also trained in a lot of data, but the data it was trained on wasn't just text and comments and whatever. The data was all the public code available on GitHub. That's right, all the code that you and me have been pushing to GitHub so happily because it's for free has been used to train an AI tool that maybe is going to replace us and write better code than we do. OpenAI was created by Elon Musk and other people as a non-profit organization to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits humanity. But now they changed from non-profit to cap profit and they received $1 billion dollars from Microsoft to exclusively license their AI technology. So maybe it's not open AI anymore, it's more like closed AI or Microsoft AI. It's worth remembering that Microsoft owns GitHub. They also have a cloud provider which is called Azure and they are the ones that make Visual Studio Code. So as you can see, everything goes full circle. I made a video last year talking about Microsoft plans for developer market domination, but I would have never imagined they're going to do something like this. So. Now that we have the context, let's actually look at the demo and see how good and scary Copilot is. To use Copilot, we have two options. One option would be to write the name of the function in a very descriptive way. So we can say function get lowest number like this. We will wait and that should give us the lowest number. That is crazy. Or we can write a comment. Find lowest number using binary search a function and look at that find tesla stock price today function will wait booyah as you can see now it's working with api that is insane get the tweets of a user function will wait done that is crazy get today's weather function booyah Open weather API, that is crazy. We can also give some context, like for example, express app running on port 3000. And we say receive a file from a user and save it to disk. We do app that and we wait, here it is. Done. That was crazy, that is crazy. Now, of course, it works in other programming languages like Go, for example. We can say, find the youngest user. We say, funk will wait, and booyah. I can also say, create a new user. And here, I will just create the function. And as you can see, I can open also some suggestions of some solutions that might happen. This solution is doing something different. This solution is doing something different. This solution maybe is doing what I want. So I will accept this solution. So as you can see, you can also choose from a list of possible solutions. That is amazing. Also, we can work with CSS and we can say make a big red circle. And we can start to see suggestions and accepting those suggestions. Okay, and we are good to go. As you can see, it added some extra things that I didn't want, but still good enough.
As you can see, it's pretty impressive. It's mind blowing. It's too mind blowing. This is when I got scared because this thing is not good. It's actually too good. Even the CEO of OpenAI, the company that has all this technology, made a very scary prediction. And I quote, he said, AI will cause the price of work that can happen in front of a computer to decrease much faster than the price of work that happens in the physical world. This means that maybe replacing a developer or a designer, somebody that works on a computer is easier than replacing a truck driver or somebody that's working on a farm. This is when I remember the strategy that Microsoft is very famous for, which is embrace, extend, and extinguish. Microsoft acquired GitHub and made it for free. They also gave us Visual Studio Code and we all used it. Now we used both of these two tools to create and store the code that they used to make a tool that might actually replace developers. And it makes sense that they do this because developers are what these companies rely on. And developers are expensive. So maybe they are just going to replace developers. So maybe now companies are not going to hire developers. Instead, they will pay Microsoft to give them access to this AI magic that is going to write code for them. So this is when I got angry. But then the more I used Copilot, the more I tried to do things with it, the more I realized that it isn't perfect. It makes mistakes and of course you need a programmer to be able to spot those mistakes and fix them. Because remember, this AI thing, these algorithms, they don't know what code is. They don't know how code works. They just know how code look like. Copilot just gives you code, but you have to evaluate if it's good and if it actually works. You, the developer. So the more and more I keep using it, I realize that this is not going to really replace developers. Instead, maybe it's going to replace or is a threat to websites like, for example, Stack Overflow. The code that Copilot suggests is not guaranteed to be code that works. It's even on their website. I quote, GitHub Copilot that doesn't actually test the code it suggests. So the code may not even compile or run. According to a study made by Cambridge, developers spend 50% of their time not programming. Half of the rest of the time is spent on debugging. So that means that with Copilot, we're going to maybe write code faster and where we before were trying to debug mistakes that we made, now we're going to debug mistakes that the machine made. Keep in mind that Copilot is trained on already existing code created by humans. Copilot is a reflection of our code. This means that Copilot was trained with buggy code and it might and it will give you a bug solution. Also remember, Copilot just waits for you. You, the developer, are the one that has to decide if you're going to use an array or an object. You, the developer, have to choose between using binary or linear search. You have to know what these things are so you can tell Copilot what you want. Programming is about solving problems with creative solutions. Copilot will just help you implement solutions faster, but you, the developer, are the creative force. Now we can spend less time doing manual work and writing the same functions that a thousand of developers already wrote before us. And instead we can focus on doing cool stuff, creating things, which is what we are doing programming for. Like I'm curious to see what happens in the future. What happens when we use Copilot and we push that Copilot generated code into GitHub and then Copilot learns from itself Maybe the code will get better, it will get worse, I, I don't know. Or maybe in the future we're going to have companies hiring people to exclusively just clean code that was created by AI. Or maybe we will have companies that are not going to allow their employees to use Copilot for security reasons. Or maybe somebody is going to put some Copilot generated code in some very important system and there's going to be a bug. Who is it to blame? The developer? Is it Microsoft? Is it the AI? I don't know, many questions arise, but overall, I think it's a very good thing for developers. So as you can see, there are many questions that will arise, but we'll only see the answer to them in the future. But for now, I feel happy. I feel hopeful. I don't feel scared. I don't think it's going to replace developers. It will definitely not. I think when you see it on the landing page of GitHub, it looks like it's the end. But when you try it, you realize, no, nope, we are not even close. This is going just to be something for productivity. We are not even close to replacing developers anytime soon. Something funny is that if I ask Copilot what is the worst programming language, it will say JavaScript, which I think is interesting. Thank you so much for watching. Please be happy today. Don't forget to eat Ginji. Come Samida. Don't be scared. We're not going to replace anytime soon. See you on the next one. Bye bye.